concordantly vis-a-vis. -vis. Yeah. And like, and there's different aspects too. So I had earlier in the stream, I mentioned that I'd been working on the networking stuff, which is actually in this context would be the replication graph. Um, so I had updated that to 425 before, so we could have the replication graph because that, that has a lot of bug fixes. Um, and when I was doing that, implemented some nice optimizations there. So like that won't show up on a profiler as a performance issue, right? But when you're running the server, um, that's a whole separate thing. So there's a lot of different areas to optimize, unfortunately. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, but those those will be coming in uh, hopefully soon, TM. But we've been yeah. working on a lot of things beside, behind the scenes. It's kind of the, yeah. the state of affairs. So there's good you stuff. Want to talk about the, uh, rep like the replication system that you're working on? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, and the major changes. Or do you have anything you can show uh, before we wrap? Actually, up? I wish I did. I have three branches. Yeah. Let me see if I have a an image here. I don't want this to show on stream. <laughs> if it's not, uh... let me see real quick. Where did I put that? Whoa, my God. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I wish you could see the other monitor right now, chat, but that is amazing. Can't believe you have that on a computer like that, Dylan. That is wild stuff, right? Yeah, I know. Dude, I'm my mind is blown. For some reason, this file is now. There we go. Wait, paint? Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is a graph that I... No, this is a optimization thing that's... Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah. Um... And this uh, feature isn't fully complete, but what I'm essentially doing here, this is the way it works. Not now, no, this is not now, but you can see a bunch of, the replication system works like range checks basically. And what I'm implementing is a way that belts will only send their network data when they're actually in the view frustrum. So in this case, you can see the, I've set up a grid and the green indicates that it's a high replication rate. You can see here it says frames till. That basically means it's replicating every frame, which means it's sending data every frame. But in the current way, in the default replication system, it doesn't matter which way the player is looking. So these black boxes back here, which you can see it's period 60, which means uh, it's never going to replicate or send, it, send its data. These would also be sending data in the current setup. So if I look the opposite direction, you can see everything behind me is no longer replicating. And this, like, there's a lot of more data, but the key takeaway here is this is what it would be like now, but it would stay that way no matter which way I was looking. But in this, it dips down a lot. So we're going down from 25 kilobytes per second all the way down to 10,000. 10, and this is a huge, these are densely layered conveyors and, and lifts. I actually got this uh, file from Ben because he was testing the instancing on them, I think. Um, yeah, so this is one of the optimizations going into the rep graph for just conveyor belts because they're kind of unique. So good things to come. Dope. Will that fix the... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, I mean, it'll... A lot oh, of issues true. do come from set oversaturation of bandwidth. Yeah. So by doing these improvements, we can uh, smooth out the rough parts. Yeah. I just I think I just want to show this because green is good and you know, green is good. Blues like okay. <laughs> you know, red is like that's bad. Orange, eh, you know. Yellow, it's okay. But yeah, it was it's actually pretty substantial improvements to the replication. But we won't see this improvement in a long time. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a little bit. It's I think up. this Fellas. is going to come with the engine upgrade, whenever that goes. And there's going to be so many other issues that you're not going to be able to like probably. But so we are we're care. we're working on it. There's we hear you, working. yeah. Um, um, but I think it'll be good yeah. stuff. Good there's stuff. a lot of stuff going on right now at the same time at the studio, so it's kind of hard to. Uh, to uh, explain it, but uh, there's there's a lot of work that's yeah. happening in the background. Pen fighter, I could read your text all day. That's 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> and lack of bandwidth was one of the... Yeah, that's a persistent. The oversaturation of bandwidth is leads to a lot of issues. And the, the problem with the FPS, why does it take so long to improve FPS? Is because while we're improving the FPS, you guys keep making bigger bases, so cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay because we have the uh, the object limit to stop here. Yeah, that's like the hard limit. Like, all right, just take it easy. But that limit, though, I some of the saves that I've loaded and I've been profiling on and testing, it's uh, they're so insane. I mean, you guys are amazing, but it's ridiculous. Like, if you asked me, like, what what's the biggest base somebody's gonna make, like? It probably would have been like a half or a fourth the size of some of the ones we're getting. Yeah. Insane. It's amazing. Yeah, we're going to stop. Yeah. All right. <laughs>